Hi, today I'm going to talk about nude lipsticks because it's something I'm asked about a lot. Usually people will ask me, how do I wear nude lips? How do I find the right shade for me? And what other makeup can I wear with it? So I thought I'd do a kind of ultimate guide to nude lips today. The, the idea of sort of nude lips implies something quite natural. Um, if anything, nude lipstick, something which closely resembles your skin tone or a fleshy color is anything but natural because lips are naturally red or blue but they're very rarely the same color as your skin so by definition nude lipsticks are a real statement and um, they are quite unnatural but they can look fantastic if you find the right shade for your skin tone and also if you do the rest of your face in a way that's complementary to the nude lipstick. There are lots of different textures of nude lipstick. So in terms of finding something that suits you, obviously something that's very opaque and creamy or even matte will make much more of a statement because it obviously, you know, the colour is much more obvious. Whereas a lip gloss or a sheer nude lipstick is a lot easier to wear primarily because some of the natural tones in your lips, so the reds and, and the, the various colours, will come through, so already it's more wearable. In terms of shades and tones of nude lipstick, they're as diverse as skin tones themselves, so it's a little bit like shopping for a foundation in that you're looking at undertones, warm tones, cool tones, pink, oranges, reds and all of that. Um, a good example, I think, would be when you see them all together, you kind of get more of an idea. This is a palette from my kit. A little bit grotty, this one, because it's been used and used, but this is um, some of my neutral and brown nudes. So you can see how the, the variety of shades. Or this is one of the MAC palettes. So this is some of their nudes, and you can see how some look very beige, some look neutral, some look pink, some look brown, some look more orangey. Um, it's only when really you put them all together you really see the individual tones. So when you're looking for the right tone, I'm gonna to use myself as an example and then you can adapt the advice. Um, I usually f go for a neutral shade of foundation. Um, my neck and body has a lot of yellow tones in it, whereas my face is actually quite pink, as you've seen when you've seen me start films without any makeup on. So I neutralize the red and with, I usually use a slightly more yellowy foundation and try and get myself as neutral as possible. So if I was looking for a beige or a more of a browny toned nude, I something that I wouldn't be able to go for is something too pale because although I'm light, I'm not incredibly fair skinned. So I'll show you how, the if it's too light, how it looks. So if I put this on, It starts to look, this is actually a sheer, so I'm building it up, just a little bit too whitish on my lips and too nothing. Likewise, if I went for one that was too brown, again, see these colours are doing nothing for me. It's making my face look very drab. And this brownie tone would look really good on someone with a darker skin tone than me. It's more of a toffee coloured skin tone, would look lovely and would actually look like a nude. I mean, that is the thing with nude lipsticks. One person's nude is another person's orange or another person's brown or another person's pink. It's so individual. So there is a bit of trial and error. So straight away, I know that this is too light and whitish and this is too brown. So I'm gonna show you now two that work really well on me within that sort of neutral to brown category. Now I'm going to try something in between and this is, I'm going to actually put it on first and this is for a neutral sort of beigey, more in the browny neutral sphere and straight away I think that looks so much better. You can see the difference is subtle, these are the previous two I wore, so this one is the one that was too light, this was the one that was too brown, so you can see it's still within that kind of very neutral group, but it's just the right shade for me, and it really is about looking and trying on different colours. When you're actually buying nude lipsticks and you're in a shop, a really good thing to do is um, to get sort of three or four together, and when you put them together, you'll actually see which one is pink and which one is orange and which one is brown and which one is more 
neutral because um, when you just pick one up and you look at it, you really, it's very, very tricky to tell. I mean, it's so much easier when they're in a palette and you can kind of see them all. So that's just a little tip you can, you can use. When you're wearing this type of neutral nude shade on your lips, I think the rest of your makeup is quite important. So if, I think you need a bit of makeup on because it's quite hard to pull off on its own. If your skin, for example, is red or blotchy, then you really need to even it out. Um, and I think that will really help to sort of frame it. And then you need some defining makeup because although it's defined in a way, you need, I think, more definition around your eyes, for example. And in terms of colors, I quite like the nude, this kind of neutral nude look when all of the makeup is quite nude in itself so I mean plenty of makeup but like I've got black eyeliner on and I've used a little bit of bronzer here and then maybe a little bit of highlighter um, just need a brush for that actually hold on one second a little bit of highlighter is nice as well because it sort of just brings a bit of life and a bit of definition and then just blend that all in so it's kind of well blended, but nothing is competing with the color of the lips. Everything is quite neutral. Another thing that looks really nice with a real neutral nude lipstick is quite a dark eye, so like a smoky eye. I mean, obviously it's a classic now, isn't it? Smoky eyes and nude lips. Um, or if you want to wear a lot of color around your eyes, wearing a neutral nude lip really modernizes color in a way. So if you've got a really blue eyeshadow on or green eyeshadow, and then you put this very neutral nude lip on, suddenly it becomes really up to date, really modern, and um, it keeps it looking chic as well. Okay, on to the pinky nudes now. I'm gonna have really well exfoliated lips after this video. So I'm going to show you now some pinky nudes. I'm gonna show you some colors that I don't think would work for me and explain why. Right, this one is going to be too pale on me, too light. It's going to be quite, it's quite um, a creamy lip lipstick. It would look beautiful on someone with a paler skin than mine, more of a neutral pale um, with a little bit of a pinky undertone. Um, or I could use that if I was doing like a 60s look and I wanted to make a real statement. But for every day, this one would be too light. I'm not going to put every single color on, but um, this is quite a blue pink and um, I would look quite dead with this. I'd look like I'd had a heart attack because it would be quite a bluish pink because within my skin, I don't, again, have that kind of bluish translucence. This would work really well on somebody with very pale skin with like that translucent type of skin. Um, these are both a little bit too intense for me, so it would look really good on a darker skin tone, but on me, they'll actually look like a pink lipstick rather than a nude. So I'm going to show you alternatives of ones that I can tell would look good on me. They all have a pinky undertone, but again, they're kind of not as light as the light one. They're not too blue pink. They're more of a neutral to warm pink nude. So of all of the ones I think are gonna suit me, I'm gonna use this one, which is Tom Ford Nude Vanilla. Now this is quite an opaque lipstick, so it makes quite a statement. It's not sheer, but it's very pinky, but, um, it is definitely a nude. Now with a pinky nude, I would add a touch of pink blush, personally, because I think it brings the whole look together. You kind of need that almost little bit of color in your face to wear a pink nude. And if you wanted to, you could also add a cheeky bit of liner do that with any of the new lipsticks, by the way. I'm just sort of, just thought of it now. Just to give you a bit more of a pout. So that's more of a sort of pinky, pinky nude. So on to more of the peachy and the orangey based nude lip colors. And these are shades I personally think suit warmer skin tones than mine. So people either with more yellow in or more of those orangey kind of reddish tones like Southeast Asian. But I don't personally use very orangey nudes unless I wanna make a real statement like a 60s look again or something that's just more of a statementy look because they just tend to look orange on me. Um, 
And I keep talking about myself, but these tips are general tips that you can use whatever your skin tone. I'm trying to be very general here so that you can take all this information and be a savvy shopper, whatever your um, skin tone is. So I picked out some with more of a peachy undertone that are close to what maybe I would use, but I'm gonna show you why some are right and some are wrong. So here's four shades, right, in the peachy nude sphere. This one would be too light for me because it's almost like, it would be very draining on my face. It's almost like a color of concealer. It's like I put concealer all over my lips, which actually works on photo shoots really well, but in real life doesn't look too good. Um, this is something that I would avoid myself. Um, hopefully you can see that. Um, this one again would be quite orangey. It wouldn't be bad, but it would be more of a look. I'd have to wear that with a kind of, more of a statement. I'll, I'll put a bit on so you can see. See what I mean? It would be more of a kind of, if I was doing a real look on myself, I'd go for that. Um, now these two are more getting there a bit. This one is a little bit too brown for me. I'd say this is the worst of the four. I'm going to put this on because you can see how wrong orange can look on me. Horrific. <laughs> no. So the one I'm actually going to go for in this category is this one, the Burberry one, and it's it's more of a lively nude. I always think nudes can be very flat or quite lively, and if I was going to use an orangey nude, I'd have to go for a lively one. Otherwise, as I said before, it would look like I've got concealer on my lips. And this is definitely um, more of a peachy nude that I would actually wear. I'd probably go with a slightly peachier blush, which I think would help to make it look really nice. I've already got pink on, so I'm not sure how much this is going to register, but I'm going to put more of a peachy color on there. I think the pink's a bit dominant. And I might even... Um, go with a slightly warmer eye colour so it would all be a little bit more kind of flattering but I think that's quite a lively peachy nude that I could probably wear and as you can see it is very much about just trying out different colours because obviously I've, I've kind of focused on what I think suits me and what works for me and I'm quite good at looking at nude lipsticks you know I've been putting them on people for 20 years all different skin tones so I'm kind of I can spot them when I see them well, that's a pink one that's it you know because it, it's just experience that brings that so what I will do is I'll do a blog post on all of the um, nudes that I use for different skin tones and just explain a little bit more because otherwise I think this film will go on forever um, again you can use a pencil with nudes which obviously is nice if you want to balance out your lip shape gives them a bit more power and I think a strong brow or at least a polished brow looks good with a nude lip because particularly if you're using one of those really um, uh, new neutral ones that I had on the beginning it sort of can take this half of your face away so whether you're using mascara or eyeliner and a good brow can really help to kind of you know bring this half of the face bring more impact particularly if you're not maybe using much eyeshadow maybe just a little bit of um, liner or mascara, having that strong brow really kind of balances everything. You've got that kind of strong eye and then this quite more neutral lip. So I think that's everything. I mean, you can you can use a little bit of foundation or concealer on your lips. That's what makeup artists used to do. When I started in the industry over 20 years ago, you couldn't actually buy nude lipsticks. They just didn't exist, like properly nude lipsticks. So that's what we had to do, and I still do it now. You can do it if you only put a tiny amount on, but you literally have to just pat hardly any on your finger. If you put a lot on, it only looks good in photo shoot. It does not look good in real life. So with so many great textures available of nude lipsticks now, and so many different colors, it just takes a little bit of research, but actually you'll get better at spotting them. You'll be able to look at them and say, that wouldn't suit me, that'll make me look dead, that will look good with a pink blush, that will look good with a strong eye. You get better at it, and it just takes a little bit of trial and error, really. So I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you soon.